everybody, this is Erica Sabo. Welcome back. So today I'm gonna talk about a little game called Pokemon Go. If you haven't heard of it, I'm sure a lot of people here have. <laughs> it's kind of taken the world by storm, a lot like how Pokemon originally did so, which I think is super interesting. So today I wanted to do a video about Pokemon Go, tell you about my experience so far, and I would love to hear about your experiences. So this is going to be a very comment friendly video if you want to talk about it. And I want to go over my team, what my dream team is, etc, etc. So if you can tell, Team Rocket, this is kind of like my game face or having my Gengar hat because that works too, right? Uh, <laughs> so I alternate and I've been going out a lot, like a lot, a lot. So my current team of six is Starmie at CP801, Scyther at 690, Jolteon at 642, Golbat at 635, Pidgeot at 624, and Hypno at 609. It's a pretty good team. Oh, there's Eradicate on my, uh, on my radar here. Should probably do something about that. Although, like, there's Raticates everywhere. Not as much as Drowsies, though, guys. There's just, like, too many Drowsies out there. They're like pests now. So, that's my current team. But my dream team, by far, and always has been, even when I was playing Pokemon Blue and Yellow, was Alkazam, Gengar, Golbat, Dragonite, Ninetales, and Jolteon. So, I already got some of those in there. But, you know. I haven't been able to find any Abras, which is a little bit sad. I haven't found any Dratinis, although I hear that there's some at the harbor front. I had some pretty fun adventures with friends already trying to catch Dratinis and Abras uh, over by City Hall here in downtown Toronto. Uh, Ninetales, I actually have Vulpix. I just haven't come across any more to be able to get more candy. I'm not going to go over the basics here because I'm sure you guys already know a lot of the basics. Uh, but I gotta say, the experience so far has been amazing. Just absolutely amazing. It's actually really funny. For some reason, in my area, there are Eevees everywhere. Everywhere. They're in my bedroom, they're in my neighborhood. I catch at least one to three in my area every single day. And if I'm lucky while I'm out, then I'll get even more. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty great. I feel very lucky. So right now I have a Flareon and I have a Jolteon, but I'm still trying to get that Vaporeon. I'm very close. I was just out this morning to get an energy drink and some cat food, and I found another one, so I'm happy. So right now, let's take a look, and it's funny, because by the time this video is up, I know I'm going to be a much higher level. I'm already past level 16 right now. By the time this video comes out, I'm sure I'll probably be level 17 by then. I live on a Poke Stop, if you haven't noticed, um, which is very, very convenient. <laughs> it's a little too convenient. Um, but yeah, so I make sure to take advantage of that. I also have my Dratini here, too. I've been carrying this little guy around, too, in hopes that maybe eventually I will get that, that lovely Dratini of my dreams soon. So one thing I will say uh, is really big, big tip. My friend Tanisha had recommended it to me and it works so well, but keep your Stardust, uh, like store that for later levels because later levels you'll definitely need more because it's going to be more experience in order to level up, right? Uh, also just keep accumulating that candy, but don't evolve your Pokemon unless you're using a lucky egg. Lucky eggs give you double your experience. It's very handy, very handy. So just accumulate a bunch of candy for a bunch of different Pokemon until you're just about to evolve them. And then get your lucky egg and then just go all out because you're getting like a thousand experience for each Pokemon that you evolve. And you're getting what, like a hundred for each Pokestop. So if you're in an area where there's a bunch, take that 30 minutes and make the most of it because that's what I've been doing and I find that's a really good way of leveling up if that's something you are interested in. Gyms are not as big of a thing for me. As you can see, I do have a few gyms. I have like two over by the waterfront and then I have a few more over uh, a little bit east on Queen West 
and then I have a few north of me um, on Roncesvilles as well too. But uh, I'm not, I don't know, I, I haven't really been that interested in gyms, I'm just trying to boost my CP level, that's my power level for my Pokemon right now, and just trying to catch my dream team. So we're getting there, we're getting there. I think one of the best parts about this game has been the fact that it's helped me so much in terms of my mental health. You know, a lot of people are going to be scrutinizing about this game, they're going to talk about how inconsiderate people are, how people are just walking into private territory and all this stuff, but there is a lot of good involved too, and I think that it's very much a tool. It's not the app's fault, it's much more the way that you carry yourself and the way that you deal with the tool, right? Uh, I've mentioned it before, but if you don't already know, I do have depression and PTSD. They're things that are very debilitating. It's not easy for me to spend time with friends. It's not easy for me to get out of the house if I don't have to. It's, it's very difficult. There's a, there's a serious anxiety that comes with it. There's a serious sense of, like, a lack of, rather, of self-worth involved. There's a lot of things that you don't feel like you deserve, and it's a, it's a very tricky situation to be in. But it's really nice when you can get involved in an app like this, and how an app like this can make you want to go outside and make you want to go and hang out with your friends and socialize with strangers and all this stuff. I just, I think it's such, I think it's such a cool, cool, cool way of helping me do so, you know, because Pokemon, and I think that this goes for a bunch of people, but a lot of people who are playing Pokemon Go, this was like a dream come true for us. This was something that we wanted to be able to do in real life when we were kids, and we never had that chance. So this is like that new wave. This is like that chance for all those old fans to be able to get that 151, to be able to be the Pokemon Masters that they wanted to be. Uh, and I, I think that's amazing, and I think it's amazing how it's helping in terms of mental health as well. So there is some of the Pokemon I have caught over time. I have caught, how many Pokemon have I caught? Um, hmm, let's go into the Pokedex. So I have caught 58 Pokemon and I've seen 58 Pokemon. Not bad. But I'm very curious to know about some of the later ones. Like, when are we going to be getting ones like Ditto? When are we going to be getting Mew and Mewtwo? When are we going to be getting the legendary birds? I don't know. I don't know. But it's it's going to be a really exciting time. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that if you are playing Pokemon Go, you are having a fun, fun time. Like, this has been just such a great, such a great game. Oh my god, there's an EV. I would love to hear in the comments below what your experience has been like, how the game has helped you as well, and what your team is, and maybe what your dream team is too. What kind of Pokemon do you catch in your area? What kind of Pokemon do you generally have? There's a lot of like uncommons that are super common here in Toronto. Uh, and then there's some that are common that are actually very rare for us here. So I'm really curious to know in everybody's region what it's like. I'm really, really enjoying this game and this is part of why I made this video in the first place. I really hope you have a great time and I will see you all again soon, okay? Alright.